हेलो एवरी वन टीम मेथोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग प्रेजेंट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फार्मूलाज एंड कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इन दिस 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 वी विल इंक्लूड द फार्मूलाज फ्राम फिजिकल मेटोलॉजी मैकेनिकल मेटोलॉजी एक्सट्रक्शन मेटोलॉजी मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट फेनोमिना सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो इन इन दिस फर्स्ट वन इज पैकिंग फैक्टर and packing factor or atomic packing fraction is the fraction of space occupied by atoms assuming that the atoms are hard spare so the formula for packing uh, this factor is number of atoms per unit cell multiplied by volume of of each atom and divided by volume of unit cell so for important uh, crystal structure like diamond cubic the this packing factor is 0.34 for simple cubic it is 0.52 for body centered cubic it is 0.68 For face centered cubic, it is 0.74. For hexagonal closed pack, it is 0.74. Uh, uh, so let's take an example of uh, this uh, BCC here. So let's make our one cube here. So here we have eight atoms at the corner. and what atom at the body center so the effective number of atoms for this uh, bcc that will be eight atoms at corner which is shared by 1 by 8 plus one atom at the center so it is 2 now it is considered as the hard sphere so the volume of each sphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube and it is a cube which is having a dimension of a here so the volume of this unit cell is a cube so when you will put uh, this in uh, in this packing factor formula so the effective number of atom 2 multiplied by the volume of each sphere which is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by the volume of unit cell which is a cube here so now we required the relationship between a and r so for this bcc the relationship between a and r is root 3a is equal to 4r this can be also proved in this uh, in this uh, in this unit cell so first you have to uh, determine the this diagon this uh, face diagonal length uh, which will be uh, root 2a here and then you will consider this atom here so by using uh, this a uh, pythagoras theorem you can easily determine this relationship which is root 3 is equal to 4r so uh, after putting this here you will get the packing factor is 0.68 similarly you can uh, determine for a uh, face centered cubic for a simple cubic for scp and for diamond cubic so this is for bcc uh, similarly for fcc the relationship between a and r is a is equal to 2 root 2 r for simple cubic it is a is equal to 2r so similarly so these three are very important here now let's go to the next one which is a density here so the theoretical density of material can be calculated using the properties of the crystal structure and in formula this theoretical density is written as number of atoms per unit cell multiplied by atomic mass divided by volume of unit cell multiplied by avogadro constant so the effective number of atoms per unit cell uh, for simple cubic it is 1 for bcc it is 2 for face centered cubic it is 4 for hexagonal closed pack it is 6 and for diamond cubic it is 8 so the, the next one is a linear and planar density here so the linear density is the number of lattice points per unit length along the direction and this linear density is written in the formula is like number of atoms centered on the direction vector divided by the length of direction vector similarly planar density is the number of atoms per unit area with centers that lie on the plane so the planar density is written in the formula is like number of atoms centered on a plane divided by area of the plane now let's take an example and and see this in uh, in details so now take a, again take this a bcc unit cell here so make it like this you have again similarly as we discussed in the earlier slides you have eight atom here at the corner 
one at the face center. So now take an example like one zero zero direction. So suppose it is origin here and this is at x axis, this is y axis and this is g axis. So now for one zero zero, if you want to determine the linear density, so one zero zero direction is this one. So in this, if you can see the linear density for this is number of uh, items lie in the direction that is two one by two length that is a here. So it is one by a. Similarly, you want to uh, determine the planar density of one zero zero plane. So one zero zero plane is this one. So if you will make it here, so you have four item, which is shared by one by four. So the linear, uh, sorry, planar density of this plane one zero zero is four multiply by one by four divided by the area of that plane. So it is a. This is also a. So it can be seen that a square here. So it is one by a square. So similarly, you can determine the linear density, planar density of any planes or direction in any unit cell or in any crystal structure the next in this list is interplanar spacing so interplanar spacing is defined as the distance between two adjacent parallel planes of atoms with the same miller indices is called the interplanar spacing and it is de uh, denoted as d here and hkl it is showing that the plane on which plane this is there so for cubic material in which you have a is equal to b is equal to c and all three angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree so in this case d is written as a by under root h square plus k square plus l square so what is a here a is here uh, this uh, inter uh, this uh, lattice parameter which is a naught so you can correlate the interplanar spacing to the lattice parameter which is t is equal to a by under root h square plus k square plus l square and hkl are the planes now similarly if you are interested in to uh, see the relationship of d and interplanar spacing and uh, uh, this uh, lattice parameter for uh, other crystal systems like you have a uh, tetragonal so in tetragonal case In tetragonal, you have a is equal to b not equal to c, while all three angles are alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. So in this case, your d will be written as a by under root h square plus k square plus c because a is not equal to c. So c by under root l square here. So this is how this d and uh, uh, interplanar spacings are correlated. Similarly, for orthorhombic, if you have so in case of orthorhombic, you have a is not equal to b not equal to c while r3 angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90. So in this case it is written as d is equal to a by h b by k and c by l like that. So yes. So thank you so much for watching this uh, first part of the video. We will come up with the, some more uh, interesting formulas and concepts in the next part. Thank you.